Welcome home to St. Anne's. We want you to know that you're welcome to join us at 10 a.m. on Sundays. Please be sure to hit subscribe to receive our sermons. We can't wait to meet you.
We have a I don't know about you, but my daddy was a stockbroker and I married a businessman. I am confident in saying that the board of trustees of most companies are not worried so much about love and grace. That doesn't mean that I don't have a stock portfolio. I do. But if I looked at my stock portfolio, have I? Am I invested in things that are making money off of sweat trades? It's time to take a look, isn't it? And I think that that's very, very important for us as middle class folks to take a look at. Where we put in our resources. That matters. It matters. We want to act like it doesn't matter. Blood diamonds matter. Where your chocolate comes from matters. Where your car comes from matters. Where your shoes are made matters. These things matter. And we want to act like they don't. And we justify it by saying, well, <clears throat> someday when, you know, I've um, paid off my house and I, um, I've upgraded from my Honda, to my Volvo, to whatever you get next. I don't honestly know what one gets next. I'm still stuck in my Prius. Um, once I've done that, then I will start giving money to other funds. Like, then I will do things for the community. But I need to, I need to be pretty solid myself first, right? And we can justify those things. But have you ever noticed that nobody ever lives the same life but makes more money? I mean, besides Warren Buffett. But that guy's weird. <laughs> nobody else does that. That's weird. We continue to use the same money just for more expensive stuff or more stuff. So you cannot justify your way out of this. There is no time because it's a habit. Our spending and our consumption is a habit. Because we've related it to feeling and emotion. And it's time to relate it to our faith and to God. But that's hard. And I get that that's hard. So I want us to take a minute, just one minute. I want us to think of one thing that we could change this week. How could we reshuffle our investments? How could we reshuffle our energy? One little thing. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It could be as simple as use a reusable cup when you go into Starbucks. By the way, they give you 10 cents off. Did you know that? I mean, it's a win-win. Good for the environment. Good for your investments. What if we did, do, what if you took a look? When you go home, where does your money go? Take a look at it. And if you're not like my husband who has like everything in a dumb old Excel sheet, because who does that? Weird. If you're like me and everything is just like a pile of receipts that are stuffed into your purse, if you copy, if you put them all together and you stamp them together, you get a little book of what matters to you. However you do things, take a look. What are you doing? Because what you see there, what you look at on your credit card statement will tell you what your focus is. And I want you to take a look at it and change one little thing. Just one little thing. Because it's our changing one little thing that changes everything.
can you move something? Can something be a little bit more focused on God? Can something be a little bit more focused on God's creation? Can something be a little bit more focused on your community? Can you change one little thing? One little thing. And it is by our one little it's by our one little things. I blame him. You did that, didn't you? It is by changing those one little things that we change the world. It's by one little thing that we bring the divine a little bit closer to home. We want you to know that you're welcome to join us at 10 a.m. on Sundays. Please be sure to hit subscribe to receive our sermons. We can't wait to meet you.